It was a season of spring in the month of February and the weather was very pleasant. In the evening, when the owl had just woken up from his sleep, he saw something. Thank you everyone for coming here. Now please allow me to tell you why you all are here. When he opened his eyes, he saw that many birds and animals had gathered under his tree. All beloved animals of this jungle, tomorrow we will be celebrating Chotu Deer's birthday. Just like every year, this year also we will be doing some party. This is a great news. What we will do? After sunrise, we will all gather near to the pond. Then we will prepare for the party and celebrate together. Oh great! You will be having birthday party, but I can't see in the morning. If you can schedule it at night, I can also join. No, we can't do that thing. We all are animals, not humans. For you, we can't celebrate at night. Party will commence in the morning only. If I am not joining the party, I will feel bad because I am also a part of this jungle. Why such discrimination with me? How come you are like us? When all the jungle is sleeping, you will be roaming around the jungle at night. And also with your voice, you are waking up everyone. What else you can do? Please tell me. I am awake at night because I am giving security. That's not enough. Who will attack on our jungle that you are giving security for? The owl felt very bad hearing this. All the animals went back to their homes to have a good sleep. But the owl was very upset. He went flying around the jungle and started doing his work. When in the morning he lost his sight, he went and perched on the branch of his tree. He had just closed his eyes when he heard a voice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Chotu dear. Happy birthday to you. Everyone is enjoying that and I am unable to see anything. I wish that I could have celebrated with them. For many hours, the owl could hear the songs and dances in the party and he couldn't sleep. But when he fell asleep, he slept away. When it was dark and he opened his eyes, he flew into the air. I am so unlucky that when I am waking up, nobody is there to roam around with me, nor for a flight. Thinking of this, he went on flying for a long time. And when he was flying past the pond, then he saw something. Hey, who is there near that pond? When he flew a little low, he saw that near the pond stood a hunter. The animals of this jungle are too smart. Let me mix this poison in this water. Then they will get a good lesson. <laughs> Saying this, the hunter threw some powder into the pond and was seeming to be happy. For the whole day this water will become poisonous. And by evening, when its power will become down, then I will find many animals here. <laughs> then I will take them away on my vehicle. <laughs> Rinku Hunter! What a clever idea you have! <laughs> Saying this, the hunter went away from there. Now the owl was getting worried. He made this water poisonous. This jungle is so big. To whom I should tell that they should not drink water? If I will stay here, in the morning I will be losing my sight. And if any animal is coming to drink water, I can't see them. How I can save my jungle? How should I do it? He thought a lot, but he couldn't find a solution. After hours of thinking, when it was finally morning, as soon as the sun rose, he couldn't see anymore. And he was very worried now. I am unable to see everyone, but others could see me or hear me. I should do this. I should repeat my words. If somebody is coming here, then I can stop them to have this water. 
Saying this, he sat at the border of the pond and started shouting loudly. A hunter has dissolved poison in this water. Please don't drink this water. By tomorrow this water will be okay. Then you can drink. He was going on repeating the same thing again and again. After some time, Jumbo Elephant came to drink water. But before he drank the water, he heard what the owl said. Hey owl, how could you know that I was going to drink this water? You can't see in the morning, right? I was not aware that you came. I was repeating my words so that everyone can know that they should not drink this water. Zebra, monkey and the deer also heard him. Oh my god, oh friend, you saved this jungle from dying. Now you can stop repeating your words. If anybody is coming to have water, we will notify them. Okay? Okay, thank you. All of them gathered around the owl and were on guard. The other animals came to drink water and all of them stopped them. This is how news spread around the jungle and all of them were proud of the owl. Thank you my dear friend owl brother. It's late night now. We should go home now. We'll come tomorrow to have water. Saying this all the animals went away from there. The owl was feeling very good. But even now he was not very happy from within. After some time their deer came back to the owl. Owl brother, owl brother, we need your help brother. What happened? What happened to you? Why you are looking so petrified? Please come with me. You will understand everything. Asking no further questions, the owl flew behind the deer. After some time, he reached a place. Seeing the beauty of the place, his eyes started shining. He saw that all the birds and the animals had gathered in a place. On one side, there were many gifts piled and all of them were very happy to see the owl. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear owl brother. Happy birthday to you. I couldn't believe my eyes that you guys are celebrating my birthday. Even I forgot about it. Yes, Owl Brother, we have understood that without any reason we were angry on you. You were not disturbing us whole night. Instead, you were giving us protection to save our lives. Today we all are alive. It's just because of you. So from now onwards, before going to sleep, we all will come here and talk to you every day. And every year we will be celebrating your birthday like this, under this beautiful moonlight. Oh my God! Is it? Yes, yes, it's true. Now please look into your gifts. That's what we have given to you. Hearing this, the owl was very happy. And having a smile on his face, he walked towards his gifts. Seeing him happy, all the animals of the forest were also feeling very happy. But there was someone whose scream was resounding in the forest. Ah. All the animals are so clever. They didn't have a sip of water. Oh! 